Hey people out in YouTube land, Zach's back here with another Bible review for you. I uh, got a special one today. Um, I did some art gilding on my own personal Bibles. So I kind of want to show you guys about that. And uh, sorry I didn't do a video of me doing it. It just would have been too complicated. But uh, let's get into it. So the two candidates I had today was a Holman personal size large print and my Bearing Precious Seed hand size. And then I have my Cambridge here to show you because they do art gilding. So, show you that. See, they got the pink. So, art gilding is this color underneath that when you close the Bible, it looks gold. And then when you open it up, you have the color underneath. So, I have that out just to kind of give you guys a standard comparison. Cambridge is probably one of the better Bible publishers. And so, that's kind of the standard. But here I'll show you what I did the art gilding with. Here I just have some basic cotton pads or swabs um, or micro pads, excuse me. I bought these from Walmart for like two bucks, not a lot. There's a pack of 12 of them. Then the two inks I got were from Archival Ink. One is red geranium and the other was cobalt blue. So I did one each color. And uh, if you guys want to look for those, let you guys get a shot of that. It's from Ranger. So there's red geranium and cobalt. They have some other colors, but none that I thought would be good for uh, art gilding a Bible. But we'll go ahead and do the Holman first. So you can see that before I did this, this was just gold on the side. So, but now you can see it's got art gilding where it's red. And that's probably best seen when you Kind of fold the Bible out a little bit, open it up, and look at that. Art Gilt Bible. And this Bible is only $10. So now it's got art gilding. It almost looks like a premium Bible. It's got good print, good paper, but just did some art gilding. So what you do is you take your little pad and you'll dab it on the ink pad. And you'll kind of come across and start brushing it down. Of course, what you'll do is you'll open your Bible like this and push it down like this where all the sides of the pages are exposed. And then you'll go ahead and take that pad with your other hand and start swiping it down to get that color. And then you just do it until it looks even. You guys can see there. And then when you close it, it looks more gold. So the gold on this Holman was really good. So this art guild turned out. You can see where the gilding was messed up a little bit there. And that shows, but they're not that red really turned out pretty good. And we can compare that to my Cambridge. So Cambridge is kind of the standard. And you can see here the difference. That this one's a lot darker, darker red, almost an Allen type color compared to that salmon color from Cambridge. It says this looks really cool. I was really pleased with this, how this turned out. Uh, I wasn't really knowing what to expect when I came into it. You can kind of see there where I might need to go back and put some more on as you turn the pages. But when it opens, it looks completely awesome. So you can kind of see there when you open it up and churn it. You need to hit it along the top more where you can see that white. But... Other than that, this one really turned out really well. I was really happy with it. And it even makes reading this a lot easier now with that red, really dark red compared to the black. Kind of makes the text just pop out there a little bit. And you can see there's the Cambridge compared to the Holman. <clears throat> then moving on, bring this guy in here. This is my favorite Bible right here. This is my Bearing Precious Seed personal size. Hand size Bible. This one's forty dollars, but the difference is this is a genuine leather. It's French mock and stitched around the perimeter. Has an imitation leather cover or a liner, excuse me, and it's tabbed into the box. This Bible is built to last a long time. This one's just a bonded leather, paste down. But you can see now with that art gilly makes it really good. I was really happy with that came come out. But uh, here I did this one with the cobalt. So. Did the Holman with the red geranium. You can see I just got done with my Bearing Precious Seed with the 
cobalt blue. And so kind of giving you guys a side shot, you can see there the difference. And again, this was, I'll actually show you what this one looked like. Come over here. So this is the bearing pressure seat wide margin. And before I art gilded this Bible, a hand size, it would have looked just like this. So it would have just had that gold. You open it up. There's nothing there. Just kind of left over from the gold gilting. That's it. But other than that, it's just gold on the sides. But then comparing it to this one, you can see the difference. So on the right, the ones with the cobalt are gilding, and it still has gold, but the gold's not as good on the bearing pressure seat, so the blue kind of stands, stands out even more compared to that, just the gold on the wide margin. But this one turned out really good. Opening it up, you can see that deep blue, and I love that color. That looks awesome. I wanted to get a color that's not, you know, just like the traditional red that that everyone does, and I know Alan does different does do a different colors. Excuse me, but this cobalt blue just turned out fantastic. And I think you know this is the second Bible I did. Now these are the first two that I've ever done ever, and uh, you know they kind of turned out pretty good. You see the blue there. Turn it on this side. You can see it was way more evenly distributed on this one. On the top, it is a little bit harder to get it closer to the tail band and the ribbon there, but if you work hard enough, you can get it in there. And then you got the bottom, did that as well. So that when you even open it there, you've got it all the way around the, the book block. You can see. And you can tell it even turned out really well, like it didn't bleed into the, uh, onto the pages. It just really stays on the edge, which is really awesome. So now you have a art gilt Bible that was, you know, only about $10 more than I purchased these for, so it's pretty neat. And these are still kind of drying out a little bit, but it's pretty awesome. I'll give you guys a look at the title page here, the New Testament. So there's that. I'll kind of stand up here. Just looks really cool. And then there's that compared to the Cambridge, and I'll kind of put these side by side. So you can see that turned out pretty good. It's not as good as Cambridge, obviously. They're more uniform and everything, but for just doing it, this really turned out well. I'm really pleased about that. Bring in the hole in here. There's, get the Holman involved. So I got all three of those. And really the red one, this, this red turned out really well with the, with the gold from Holman. I mean, that just looks, Awesome. I was very pleased with that. Switch to the New Testament here. Title page. See that? Looks so nice. But yeah, I would encourage you guys. If you guys want to do art gilding on your Bible, it's really not hard. It's. I looked this up from a couple other YouTubers, uh, Bo Tate being one of them. Uh, he has a really good review on it, uh, where he goes by step by step how to do it, and his turned out really well, so I was like, man, I'll, I'll try to do that. And uh, so I went today, got some archival ink and some cotton swabs, and you know, I think it turned out pretty good. But tell me what you guys think. Uh, you know, I, I think I need to add a little bit more. As you can see the white there, but Really, it's just reading. It just looks like a whole new Bible. It's really cool to see. Anyway, I just want to kind of do this quick video, give you guys an update about what I'm doing there. My next task will be to try to conquer replacing ribbons. You can see that just 
gives the text an awesome perimeter where you can just focus in there. I'm going to try to do a couple more, I think. Probably my common man's reference Bible, and that would be the last one I do. Because I don't want to do it on all of my Bibles. But you can see there where I need to put some more blue on it. But this really turned out really well. So yeah. There it is. Two new Art Guilt Bibles. Bought this one for $10 and turned it into a nice readable edition. I mean, even has darker red than the Cambridge. Looks nice. And then a $40 bearing precious seed and turn that into cobalt blue. So leave you guys with that. If you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments and if I can't answer or if I can answer them, I'll definitely do that for you. I just wanted to kind of update this, update you and hope this is a blessing. And if you guys are interested in doing this, I encourage you to do it. It's really not a hard process at all. So anyways, you guys have a good day and God bless.